today on the team. Maybe you've seen the draw sheet, maybe you don't care. Either way, hope it goes well for you. King Jandi and Polina Khan, they will be up next. Well, they know it will be McPherson in the final. Oh, we saw one Korean fall by the wayside. In the form of Ohiri, it will be Kim Jandi, the University of Gold medalist. She won it here in Chinese Taipei. It's going to say comfortable surroundings, maybe for her, but not so much for her coach. Silver in the Grand Slam as well. And in the recent Asian Games in Jakarta. So she's on form. It's a good win against Lauren Williams, the young British fighter, well in contention for two of the three rounds. But a change of gear puts Kim Jandi in touching distance of the final. Paulina Khan, and what can she do in this one? European bronze medalist. Big occasion for her, a couple of big wins as well, most notably against Noor Tartar, as you can see, the referee had to stop that contest. Injury befell the Turk. So Polina Khan in uncharted territory now. Well, a superb first semi-final. Will this one live up to the billing? Nadira Mezeana. Centre referee in charge of proceedings. Polina can look at focused. The shorter of the two. She packs plenty of power. Kim Jandi's confidence will be high. The punch was also a little bit high. Did well to block the high kick attempt as well from Khan. Well, if you're just tuning in, it will be Paige McPherson in the final of the under 67s who's going to join up. King Jandi wants it to be her. And that punch will help. And in the men's groupings, Vladislav Larin, well, he made it through against Great Britain's Mohamed Cho. And Anthony Obami, well, he was pushed to 9 all into the Golden Point round against Sun Hong Yi. And the man from Gabon found the quality. Finds himself in the final. The Korean coach saying, "No, none of that. Don't need any twisting kicks at this stage. Stick to the script." Polina can play well to lean back. She's a good elusive movement. Takes a big punch there. Slipped up to the face. Totally unintentional, as you guys would know. But despite the lack of intent, it would certainly hurt. Good speed from the medical team. And we hope that Polina can will be okay. Yeah, the centre referee doing the right thing there. Giving the medical time out. Well, just slipped over the body, punched, and it slipped up and over the shoulder. Did it hit in the neck? Well, it could be just in the face. I know that doesn't sound good, just in the face, but better to catch one in the jaw than in the neck and throat. So that will sting, but it won't cause her any real breathing difficulties. She looks to be okay. Credit to her, Paulina can. She's made of tough stuff. Can she stand? Oh, she most certainly can. Cam John given rightly.
conversation with the Russian coach there, just making sure that she's okay to continue. The doctor, I should say. The doctor's report is in. Polina can. If she will take that gown, John. Mercifully, she's okay to continue. <laughs> well, it's a tough little scrap on the inside from both. Neither giving the middle ground. Polina can. Nice jump and punch on the way through there. Well blocked from Kim Jandi. The referee doing a good job so far. Letting the match flow. Excellent blocking from both fighters. Chanti takes a low one to the knee there. Oh, good stuff there. From Kim Jandi. She limps back to her corner there, a sore one. Polina can very much in contention. She looks fresh, she looks composed. Thankfully, that punch in the face wasn't too painful. It's not too comfortable viewing at the moment for Kim Jandi. She's been made to work hard. Korean Russia sharing three points. The line share at the moment just to Kim Jandi. Not much power on that punch. Which, as you guys will know, is of course timing and distance dependent. Your arms are shorter than your legs. So get that distance right. So pivotal. Twisting kick attempted there, Kim Jandi. Punch again. No love from the judges, unsurprisingly. It's not a lack of accuracy from either fighter. It's literally just jamming each other's plays, breaking up the distance. We've seen how well Kim Jandi can fight in that big win against Lauren Williams. She's just keeping it very simple at the moment. Fourth attempt at a punch, every single one landing on the arms of Can. A few bruises, I'm sure. She might be black and blue, but will she get gold? Can she get herself towards the final? The Russian still on her toes, trying to move. Neither fighter over committing at this stage, 20 to go in the second round. Open stats, good back leg tunnel kick there from Polina Khan. Shandy thought about the punch, hesitated. And she who hesitates has lost the headship. Lands nicely from Khan. Thought about the big jumping chop as well. Good luck from Polina Khan. And the Queen coach is saying it's all okay. Get back to the coaching corner and we'll fix it. Good stuff from Polina Khan. It was 2 1 down, now 6 3 up. Showing plenty of confidence. The European bronze medalist found the body shot. Nice head kick as well. And quite interestingly, 
little push kick after it. Thought about going for the big flying side kick. But fell over in the end. But is this one going to end? So close. Three points of a gap. Back leg turn and kick there straight away from Kim Chen Di. Concentration advised by the Korean coach. And they know that oh, here he is already out. Is Kim Jin that Kim Jan Di? Is she heading out also? Polina can't will hope so. Good block again from Khan. Plus the Gandron for holding in the inside. That low kick there. Good referee. Five points of a gap now. This is the largest margin that Polina Khan has had. And I've lost count of the Kim Jan Di punches that haven't scored. We saw Sun Hong Yi in the men's heavyweight division announce his presence at the top level. Paulina Khan doing the same here. But can the Korean Kim Jan Di make a difference? More holding. And the Korean coach disagrees this time. No gam job? The clear instruction, or the clear contention, I should say. Just explaining to each other on the headsets there the reasons for the gam job. There's the video review panel. Lots for them to ponder in this one. Well, just as we see the video replay of the contended point, the coach has been agreed with. With the replay panel saying yes, Camdron should be invalidated. And there we go, order is restored. And we're back underway. Just about a minute to go in the third, good punch there on the way through. Kim Jan Di scrapping here, going for it. Polina can't, refusing to give ground. The Russian, to her credit, keeping in close, just missing with the head kick. Tries the back kick. Well, the presence of Kim Jan Di, does she have enough fitness left? Or Polina can continue the excellent work. More dancing than kicking at the moment. But it's certainly working well for Polina Khan. She's killing the clock. Looking for the Gamchon to be invalidated again. The coach and referee having that conversation once more. You can see the big screen behind the referee. And the coaches can now watch the replay on that one. I'm watching it in real time with the video review panel. Well, unsuccessful this time. Coach's card pocketed. Still plenty of time. 42 seconds. Can, can, hang on in there. 
Change of stance from Kate Hildy. No change of fortune. Misses with the head kick. Tries the back kick round the corner as well. No pressure mounting. And mounting a real spirited attack here. Kim Jandi forcing the issue. Forcing Polina Khan on the back foot. Four points of a gap now. Polina Khan. I'll be more than happy to see that Gamjon go on the board. Still four points of a difference. Big push again. Five points, I should say. Polina Khan. Be happy to see the game John given. Ten seconds and some change to go in the third here. Paige McPherson awaits in the final. Oh, she's exhausted, Polina can't. You can see the pressure, the big occasion. Not to mention the big legs of the Korean firing forward. Good push from Polina can. That's a match winner. Great shot. Kim Jan Dee knows it, felt it, knocked the stuffing out of her there. Puts herself into the final. Paulina Khan. Well, Khan has made it through in fine style. Richly deserving of that one. Very professional all the way through. Good decisions in each of the crucial moments.